Hey everyone, Cody Lefebvre here. Welcome back to the channel. I figured we'd give you an update for 2021. This is from the first week of the new year. Here's to having a better year than 2020. I think it goes without saying that last year was pretty tough for everybody, myself included. Thankfully, I was able to continue training every single day, not missing a session. And I'm now approaching two years straight of training every single day. Uh, getting close to 670 sessions that'll happen within the next few days and uh, just really enjoying where I'm at right now with my training uh, just looking back you know the last powerlifting meet I did was in 2016 so going on five years ago and you know it's time flies wow um, but nevertheless still lifting and I've shifted goals from more of an endurance based thing that was a big deal when i moved up here to high elevation and uh now i'm looking at going into a more bodybuilding specific approach uh, i did for 2019 really take on the squat and the strict press setting new all-time maxes in those for the pause squat not just the regular squat i did pause squat 455 which was a one what one rep max PR at the pause squat and then 235 with the strict press. Um, to be frank, I messed myself up on a safety squat bar um, PR attempt with that 20 rep max attempt. I got 16 with 315 pounds. Took a wrong breath, shifted my upper back around like the 14th rep, I think, and that really set me back for a few months in 2020. Then went back to an endurance based lower weight higher reps training for a while in a sort of rehab parallel rehab approach to my training that helped me continue training every single day which is primary goal and then get me back up to speed which would be like the secondary goal and developing my lifts uh, to approach PR territory both for intensity in terms of one rep maxes as well as volume in those rep max attempts so whether it's a 5 or a 10 or a 20 rep max attempt uh, you could see on my Instagram different sessions from in 2020 where you know I'm getting hundreds of reps in a single session in under 60 minutes developing that strength endurance not necessarily a true CrossFit approach in the sense of doing snatches and clean and jerks for time and many many reps of these Olympic lifts that's never really been my style even when I was a CrossFit coach I still stayed true to a powerlifting specific style for my own training but general gains has proved successful in a number of different specific adaptations from the general framework that I laid out close to two years ago in a reddit post all this will be linked in the description box below of this video but since then I've had a lot of people, whether they're clients or former clients or people that have read these things, come and talk to me about my training. They're emailing me, messaging me on Instagram or whatever, and asking questions about general gains and really fleshing it out for themselves. Because I made that post knowing I had a strong framework, but that I didn't have everything figured out. There's a lot of variability, a lot of options, and a lot of room for personalization with general gains and that's one of the strengths of that training method and that book training manual will be forthcoming very soon I've delayed that because I realized that while I had a lot of it figured out I didn't have everything figured out and there's a lot more I could include than what I had at the time when I first started telling people online how I was training and what that framework looked like. Since then, I've had clients see success in improving their one rep maxes, both male and female clients, whether they're, they've been powerlifting or they're getting into it. You know, I've got female clients that are approaching 600 pound total for their first powerlifting meet. In a lower weight class, I think like 114 to 121 pounds class or whatever it is down there. Um, other clients focused more on bodybuilding. That's where I'm taking my current training. And uh, I've got still other clients who have shifted to 
endurance-based training. And some of this does actually have to do with the force of 2020. It shut down gyms around the world. Unfortunately, I've got many friends of mine who are gym owners and they lost it. And it's tragic uh, through no fault of, of their own. I'm lucky that I just didn't have a huge overhead with my personal training business because that's what I am. I'm just a personal trainer who has a forte for strength training. And uh, many of my friends, unfortunately, had to shutter their businesses. Um, it's sad. And those people that were training at these powerlifting specific gyms found themselves having to readapt to home training, whether that's using a TRX or some perfect push-up handles, a pull-up bar in the doorway, whether that they were able to get their hands on some kettlebells or dumbbells or some resistance bands. Things have got a little bit weird in 2020, especially as the market for gym equipment dried up and the pipeline for getting things shipped out really got clogged. People placed orders on all these different websites and didn't get that stuff for months. And that required me as a personal trainer to identify how I can make general gains better by suiting these needs. And, you know, I'm thankful that I delayed publishing general gains for that reason, among many other reasons. But it was amazing to see how f truly flexible this framework can be in adapting training to one's training environment their limited equipment, a shift in goals going from a powerlifting focus to more of a endurance or CrossFit-esque type of training focus. I've got some clients that are now training every single day like me. One of them I just posted about recently on my Instagram. He surpassed 50 days in a row. He's doing awesome, nothing but positive feedback and seeing excellent results both in his conditioning but also remarkably his despite lifting every single day his resting heart rate going down quite a bit and i think it just goes to show the benefits not just training every single day but having a framework that allows you to train intelligently every single day every session you go in there doesn't need to be a session that breaks you off and you walk out of the gym nearly crippled. I did that for many years and I'm feeling it now, to be honest. I'm 35 years old. Those years of crushing myself in the gym, quote, earning those rest days, maybe it wasn't the smartest thing. Maybe wasn't the smartest thing. General gains, on the other hand, it allows for sessions to be unique in their own right, but producing work that adds up to the following day and those following weeks and months, building that momentum in your training so that you do realize these goals. And part of it is just doing something that you love every single day. Nobody's going to go tell a person who does yoga or does running that you can't do that every single day. Well, I don't like to yoga. I don't like to do running or anything like that. Um, I'd rather lift. I'd rather do this sorts of stuff every day. And that brings me happiness, being in the gym. So finding a way to do that every day is a different kind of payoff than just the physical gains. There's a different kind of result to going into the gym and not necessarily blowing off steam. Like some people go into the gym, crush themselves uh, because they've got some demented, torturous <laughs> uh, approach to their training. <laughs> I've been there too. Uh, but the whole point about what I'm ranting here is just having fun in the session, finding a way to approach the session in a way that you know is going to continue to benefit you and not set you back. The only times I've been hurt in the last nearly two years of training every day is when I am trying to push myself to that 10th degree of getting that PR and that would be like on a weighted pull up, uh, five rep max effort. I think I spoke about this a while back. Um, and then the safety squat bar from last year, chasing that 20 rep max effort. Those things are what really sets me back. Uh, but gaining momentum here at the end of 2020, heading into 2021, looking forward to posting more training updates. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for listening to the rant.